Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Toshiba Fire TV and a iPhone 10 or above. I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror wirelessly. Now take note that this is an updated uh, video here. The app that you use actually costs $1.99. I just bought it. There used to be a uh, free version, but it's no longer free. Again, you do have to pay, but the paid one here is definitely much, much smoother. Not perfect, but still a lot better than the free version that I had from like a year ago. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and grab your remote and I want you to go ahead and tap on the home button on your remote. Let's tap on the home button. Now from here, what you wanna do is you wanna move all the way over to where it says apps, apps right there. Now just go down one and now you're at feature. Okay, now move over to where it says categories. Now. Just keep going all the way down to this right here, utility. Okay, go ahead and enter. And now from here, what you wanna do is you wanna look for this screen mirroring app. Okay, you can see right there. You need to go ahead and click on that and you need to download it, okay? So once you go ahead and download it, so now you have it downloaded on the actual TV. Now this here, this QR code pops up because on your iPhone, you need to go to the App Store, okay? You can go drag it to your App Store or you can go ahead and scan that QR code if you just go ahead and go to your, your camera here. Just go to your camera and just go ahead and kind of put it in right there and then I, they found it right away. Let me tap on that and that should bring me directly to the uh, App Store. So you can scan the barcode or you can just go to your App Store and just look for this, uh, this icon right here is called screen mirroring for Fire TV. And again, this is where you're gonna to have to pay, um, I mean, I paid $1.99, they may change the price in the future. So once it's downloaded on the TV and you download it on the phone, now it doesn't matter where you are on the TV. So every time I wanna go ahead and mirror something now, I just go ahead and go anywhere on the TV, go directly to my phone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the app so here's the app on my phone. Let me go ahead and tap on that. You do have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi, okay? So your TV and your phone have to be on the same exact home Wi-Fi network, okay? So now, okay, so it looks like I found it. I have a Toshiba a Fire TV, which is right here. Let me just tap on that. And then from here, you go ahead and tap on this right here. And then you get this uh, window that pops up and you want to click on Start Broadcasting right there. Now it's going to give me a timer, three, two, one. And now it's actually recording. So now as soon as you swipe up like that, you're going to be able to mirror. Okay. Now there is like a slight lag. You are connected. It's con the connections via Wi-Fi, but you can see how all this like here looks. A lot of you guys probably want to show uh, photos uh, or like work documents, or maybe you want to share photos to uh, uh, family members or whatnot. If I, for example, if I go into my gallery here, here's a photo right here and of course you can turn it into landscape mode you can zoom in and out and I'll show you a quick video here Testing one, two. oops let's go back to this one Okay, now you can, I'm not sure if you heard it, but the audio actually comes out from the phone, not the TV. Okay, so I just recorded another video, I'll show you something a little bit longer. So let me go back into my photos gallery here, and this is the video I just recorded right here. And. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there, you can see it's a little bit laggy. It depends on your Wi-Fi connection. My Wi-Fi here is like horrible, it's off and on. So anyways, uh, with videos, you may get some kind of stutter, like a little bit of lag, just FYI. So from here, if you wanna go ahead and log off, just simply on the top left-hand side, you're gonna see those uh, that red timer on top. Just go ahead and tap on that, like right up here, let's tap on that, and just click on stop. Click on stop and you're out of it. So pretty simple. Good luck, guys.